Hello, everyone. Welcome to the finals. Ugh. <laughs> Ugh. <laughs> yep, it's about average for this deck. He mulligan. Okay. Um, okay, this hand's almost playable. Yep, better than strictly unplayable, I guess. Right? It, it, it has plays for the first three turns. <laughs> Which are lands? <laughs> hey, hey. It's got plays for the first three turns. Think about it, it that way, John. It does. Is this the red deck? No. It's okay. Not. Okay, Good. Solemn's something. Solemn's actually probably the best draw we could have that was not a land. Right, the best non land draw we could have right now. Because it is a land. It is a land, <laughs> right. <laughs> exactly. So this is the guy with the ancestral recall. We already beat the Black Lotus deck. Yeah. So. Yeah, we have no pop. Oh, we have the emerald. Yeah, we have the emerald. It's pretty useless. We have the forest. <laughs> yeah. Emerald is forest. That's what it says. It says zero. Play a forest from your hand. Uh huh. Okay. <laughs> he searches up planes. Interesting. So he's on blue, white, red, burn control? Oh, hey, that's actually a good land. Could be anything. I'm going to get Taiga. Yep, we are on four color control. Right. We are on four color control. I agree. I don't think he would have got Taiga there. Why Taiga? Because it gets us green and red. He's on four color control. I'm beast with any of this thing. Why? You don't even know what it is. I just wanted to. It's probably still the play, but... No, it's oh, fine. Why no, didn't you... it's fine, because we're going to play Solemn next turn. Yeah, but you... But it's an instant. Right, but that would have given him a guy. I guess I can see both lines. Whatever. Now he's going to kill it, and we're still going to have the beast within it. Fine, I see. I see what you're saying. I see what you're saying. Uh, double black. Double black. Yeah, because he's gonna minus two to bolt it. Yeah, maybe Maloku or Tamiya will beat it anyways. Right. I think Tamiya just kind of wins versus that, doesn't it? That guy? Okay. That guy actually scares me. I've, I've used him before, and he's pretty damn solid. Because it's just basically draw two extra cards a turn. Or filter two cards from your hand every turn. Mm -hmm. oh, and he actually is going to be using it for its real effect. Mm -hmm. um, if he plays like a cheap artifact here, I'm going to abrupt decay the artifact. Because yeah. I don't want him getting back either of those things. Yeah. He didn't shock himself for that. Okay, so he just... Shooting that, fair enough. Yep. Oh, hi, Swaggles. Ooh, Swaggles. Swaggles McTuskers. Land is great. I think I'm playing Thrag <clears throat> Uh, yeah, I think I'm playing Thrag Tusk. Yeah? Or Tamiya. <laughs> Might just be Tamiya. Could be anything. Could even be Moloku. Could be Maloku, but I don't think it's Maloku. Probably it's either Thrag Tusk or Tamiyo. Probably just Tamiyo tapping down one of the lands, whichever the scariest is. Well, let's see. So he's got two black sword. He's only got one white source. I'm going to tap down his white source. Sure. Just because it color screws him, I think. Maybe. Who knows? There's a chance. Yeah. I think, personally, it might have been Maloku if I was playing this game. You think so? Yeah. Hmm. I don't know how I feel about that. That's why I kind of went with what I went with, but... Eh. It's not bad. Like, any of them are acceptable, I think, but... How just... do these guys... Minus ten, you get an emblem. Whenever an artifact is put into your graveyard from the battlefield, return at the beginning of your next instance. Yeah. Okay. And he only did one land, or one card, too. That's dying. Alright, that's dying. So, land would be great. 
Right, because then we can play, like, Thrag Tusk and that. Yep. Swaggles McTuskers. Curious what he's doing with this. He's gonna do that. I'm gonna just crack in response. Because Why not? We'll get by you. Ugh. Okay. We'll be able to use it eventually. But for now, we're just gonna start off with this. You could tap it. And play Swaggles. Actually, I don't mind that either. That's a good idea. See, that's why I keep you around, John. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> there had to be some reason, aside from the <laughs> funny commentary. Sweet. Alright. We're doing good. Still kind of worried about that, but whatever. It's not affecting us too badly right now. Looks like he already discarded his premium artifacts. I don't know what else you can really get. Well, Those are pretty good ones. What His goal is to minus two this for a benefit. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That I forgot about that. Meh. He's not attacking Tamio, I'm sure. Right. Whatever. Draws a card. Just makes Ashiok even better. <laughs> <laughs> Little does our opponent know. Oh, goodness. That's a lot of mana. Shieldred. I'm a damnation. How do you feel about this? I feel happy. Well, this is not good. I think we're going to be damnationing and holding up abrupt decay. Yep. We suck that. Let me get a beast token, which will die to damnation. Or I can play a Hierarch afterwards, which I kind of like, actually. He's just going to shoot it with Ral Zarek. Yeah, but it lowers Ral Zarek so he doesn't get closer to going off with Ral Zarek. Plus, it means he's not shooting Tamiya with Ral Zarek. Mm-hmm. I don't trust this white man. <laughs> I just don't. Can't trust a guy who randomly gets a planes with a flood strain. That's right. Alright, well, his... Nine guy is gonna go off. Divari. Uh, next turn. But now, see, the thing is, if he doesn't bolt Hierarch, we actually just get to potentially just drop Nickel Bolas. Yeah. He'll he'll bolt it, though. I don't think there's a reason not to. Except unless he thinks it's not threatening at all. If he plays another big guy, he might not bolt it, because he's just gonna be like, whatever. Impulse. <clears throat> I'm interested or, to see what happens here. Yeah, or if he untaps the land. Right. I just want to so have Bolas come out and go, mm, tasty <laughs> walkers. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah. Otherwise, we have to do something dumb like Beast Within his Planeswalker, probably. Right. Which is actually quite dumb, because he gets to attack them, and... Well, we beast within, and then we abrupt decay. Abrupt decay yeah, the token still is bad. Right, it's a two for one on ourselves, but whatever. I don't know what he's doing though. Yes, unclear. I think he's trying to find an artifact for these two guys. All okay, right. Bolas might be coming down. If we hit any one land, Bolas gets to come down, which is going to be awesome. <laughs> because, seriously, how do you beat Bolas? Unclear. He was downfall, I guess, but at that point I think he would have used it on Tamio by now. I think Bolas has to crush this guy, because I'm just afraid of what he could do with it. Yeah. Because he probably has... Well, no, he doesn't have Lotus. Discard just... Snapcaster. What? I don't know what he has. Does he have living death? Yes. Disc. Disc. I'm going to sure? potentially be beast within a disc. Wait, no, that doesn't kill planeswalkers, does yeah. it? Yeah. No. 
I think this worked out really well for us. Lit. As long as he doesn't have force, but one, two, three, four. All right. How oh, about I just rip? freeze down the? D Wait, why am I freezing down a disc? What you can I untap it. Um, I'm probably just gonna beast within this guy. Yeah. Just play it safe. You can have a three, three. So what you can do is tap it, and hopefully that incentivizes him to untap it with. With Ral Zarek. No, the uh, the beast token. Oh. oh. Oh, well. Oops. Yeah, because the disc is irrelevant. So what you want to do is tap the beast. He untaps it, tries to attack Tamio. We nuke it. Well, we still can nuke it, I guess. I don't know. Well, I, Maybe this... he'll try to untap the disc for shits and giggles. Well, no, because now he can shoot Tamio with Ral Zarek. I'm saying maybe he'll try, he'll try to plus Ral to get up to 8. Or to seven, so he can ultimate it? Yeah, I don't think he'll do that. He could be greedy. There's a chance that our opponent will be greedy. <laughs> we just need a little greed. He's he's four color. See, he's tapping high arc. Okay. Untapping planes. Interesting. Right, so he's producing... I don't know what he's doing. It's a lot. Thanks. Okay. It's beatable. It's beatable. More than beatable. It's, Kiora doesn't do it, but Moloku... It's got pro red, pro green. Right. Moloku does it. I'm going to abrupt decay this token. Yeah. Bolas doesn't do it, funnily enough. Uh, right, because it's target. But Kiora does it. And if we can just find a way to deal with that, because I don't want him getting a bunch of turns. Well, if we draw land, we sh we play Bolas, we shoot play dead. Bolas. Oh yeah, and then this can't kill Bolas because it's too weak. Land. Metamorph is interesting. Um. Hmm. Pro what? Pro what? Blue green? No, pro red green. Oh, Tammy! Oh, Tammy doesn't do it. Yeah, uh, you mean no? Tamio freezes this down, so then he has to plus it to undo it. Yeah, he pluses, undoes it. <sighs> we could just m ultimate. At which point, what are we doing with the ultimate? Are we actually getting anything out of that? Well, we can ultimate and just play Moloku, or ultimate and play Kiora. Okay, so let's ultimate. We're going to play Moloku, we're going to bounce a land, then we're going to replay the land. Yeah. This gives us a blocker. Right. And he might just bolt the blocker, but you know. Can always produce more blockers. Right. So I think he's gonna ultimate Val here. That's my thought. In order to try to take up to a lot five of turns. turns with a six six flying lifelink vigilant first striker. <laughs> Everything, yeah. Yeah. Oh goodness. Yeah, we needed a land there. Right, if we'd hit a land, we would have been in pretty damn good shape, actually. I think he's gonna ultimate Ral here. Or he's gonna go to combat and let us block with an illusion. Fair enough. Block with an illusion. <laughs> he could lose all five flips. We've been pretty lucky in the flip department today. Alright. Won a flip. Lost a flip. Won a flip. Lost flip. Lost flip. Okay, it's only time stretch. Right. So it, we're not actually straight up dead. Time stretch with two cards in hand. No. And we get to bounce a land to make a blocker one turn. Mm-hmm. Hmm. Maybe we don't want to bounce a land. We could take 12. We could take and... 12 and then metamorph this guy. Yeah. I could there's take... options. There's options. There are... We could also... Metamorph disc. Oh goodness, what's he casting now? Battlesphere is pretty unbeatable. Yeah, I think we might lose to Battlesphere here.
We're going to be taking seven and, and then seven again. And then we can't do much. Imperial Seal is kind of gross. So, yeah, because he's taking two turns. Yeah. Um, well, let's see. So we're taking four. Eight. Or oh, four, four, yeah. And then we can, like, make a token and block once. But then we can't play take... Bolas. Right. Well, Bolas won't win the game here anyways. Yeah. This is one of those weird situations where Bolas just won't win the game. I don't know if I have any else. I think he probably just won fetched time walk. <laughs> sure. Oh. What? Um... I'm gonna block a token. Yeah, I don't think he did that correctly. No, I don't think he did either. I'm eating a token. Yum yum. Still in first combat, uh, first damage. <laughs> now you can cast your time walk. You've been wanting to do it for a while here. And time walk. Oh. Phantasmal image. Close enough. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, there weren't many outs to that. <laughs> okay. Yeah, we basically had to have him whiff on everything. Duress is probably... Oh, Thada, yeah. Thada seems good, right? Duress. I think we want Duress, too. Yeah, let's do Duress as well. I think we can nix the repeal, probably. Yeah. And I also think we... Is Nissa good? This is probably not good in this one. Mm. Alright, so let's do that. My eyes are getting all blurry. Well, it is 418. 420. Yep, 420. Well, 419, because it's still a half, more than half a minute to 20. Mm, goodness. Moto says 418, your computer says 419. What should I trust? My watch. Which your watch? 419. Which is neither of them? No, it's just 419. I think we would like to play first. I'm keeping this. Okay. Because this fetches up a black source. Yep. And that gives us disfigure. I'm going to wait to fetch until next yeah, time. Yeah, of course. And Manalik will catch one of his walkers. Alright, Maloku's cool. We'll just keep waiting. I don't need to fetch anything just yet. Not until something happens. Pernicious Deed's pretty okay. We need to hit one more green or black source. Yep. Then we're in pretty solid shape. Can't I'm kill that thing. To... How greedy do you want to get? Is the question. I'm gonna get greedy. I'm gonna get greedy. We're gonna draw a green or black source here. Whiffed. Whiffed. Um. We could always disfigure it to make him not draw a card. That seems really bad. Well, what else does he have that we're disfiguring? Think about it. Not much, but. I think I'd rather have him draw a random card than... Waste a disfigure. Wait, does it say... We we don't discard, right? He just draws, right. right? Yeah. I think I'd rather have him draw a random card. Okay. Fair enough. Because yeah, if he doesn't if hit, he has to also discard. discard a card, this would be just bad. Well, if he oh, it'd be amazing at that point. It'd yeah, if he doesn't hit a land, he has to discard anyway. The disc. Mm, nah, I'm not too worried about it. Yeah. Most of our threats are planeswalker based, so I'm not too Just worried. Just draw about a it. land. Boom. Mm. That'll work because now I can abrupt to this thing. I'm just gonna do yeah. it now. Yeah. Black land would have been the sickest. Right. But. I'm just going to do this right now, just clean that up, and then we'll mana leak up for when he goes, like, red, try to play a walker. Mm -hmm. 
All right, so that wasn't too bad. We He basically did one damage, drew a card. Right. Right, so he basically played Zap. Yep. <laughs> yep, he zapped us. <laughs> that is actually what he did. Uh. Yeah, no. Yeah, no. <laughs> I don't know what you're trying to do with that, but no. It's just not happening, man. <laughs> I don't care what you're trying to do with that, actually. Now, I just want to draw a swamp and play Liliana and be in good shape. Ready, set, swamp. Swamp. Taiga, the worst. Yeah, kind of. Well, Moloku is a... I mean, Moloku for disc is not a bad trade. Yeah, let's trade Moloku for disc, I suppose. It might end up being like Moloku bounce a land for disc. Yeah, because if he doesn't blow it up, we get to bounce by you, making double black. Right. Yes, Which is we pretty do. hot. That is actually pretty hot. Sure. Oops. Okay. I don't care. What? I don't. <laughs> Am I supposed to care? Impulse is nothing. It's what he gets off impulse that's the problem. Yeah. Impulse itself is nothing. It's probably fetching on land. <laughs> see. Miloku the Clouded Mirror. That's a cool name. Also pictured on Hall of Mirrors. Interesting. What's Hall of Mirrors? Uh, legendary, the legend rule does not apply. Ah, uh, yes. Judges everywhere must love that card. Oh, yes. Okay. I don't mind that because you're going to sack it. Indeed. Dang. One off on him? Alright, well, whatever. We're gonna do this. Yeah, just make sure to tap the blue. It's black. Got there. Kaboom. Yeah, I was just trying to think if I needed to save up that mana for the green mana for anything. The answer is no. Haha, -ha. Moloku value. Moloku, the value generator. <laughs> Little did our opponent know that we just really wanted that double black. That's right. Let's see how devastating Liliana is going to be. Could be very. Could be very, because we get to discard Disfigure first. Yeah. Just doing I'm nothing. I'm hoping he taps out for, like, Shouldred or something like that. And that I just get to go... Draw Garrick. land, Garrick, kill it, gain yeah. six life or something like that. That would be pretty sweet, yeah. That's my hope. Or that he, like, taps heavily for, like, a planeswalker or something like that. Mm -hmm. In which case um, you go, Garrick, destroy planeswalker. Right. Now, the issue is we cannot kill the Sphinx yet, and he's still one mana off of that thing, so. Yeah, Sphinx is a problem. Um, but once Liliana goes plus again, then we can kill the Sphinx. So, you know, Sphinx isn't a problem at that point. Well, it either is or it isn't. You gotta choose one, man. It's a problem right this second. But he'd have to have an extra mana source to do it. And we are representing everything. Counterspell. Right. He's he, like, he doesn't know that we played against the guy with Counterspell already. Yeah. He's like, do I really want my Sphinx Counterspelled? Well, he has to get another land anyways. He's already played land this turn. Okay. Imperial Sail for Sphinx. I think so, probably. That'd be my guess, unless it's Imperial Sail for a red mana. Which I could also see. I would accept that. <laughs> okay, Beast Within is not terrible. Do I Beast Within the disc? Nah. He pops in and responds. Right. I'm gonna go to combat and hit him for three. Take your three. And love it. <laughs> Want some more of it. Alright, let's get rid of this disfigure. Yep. Do, do, do. And I suppose you can just make a guy, because 
Why not, right? Uh, yeah, I might as well. Yeah, there's no reason not to make a, a guy right now. Yeah. Discard Sword of Feast and Famine. That okay. seems nutty to discard. Well, he doesn't have any guys. Right. So. Oh, that's from our... Terrible draft. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, that's from that's from a thing that shall not be mentioned. <laughs> oh, right. so he's popping the disc for that. Fair enough. That's fine. So land sphinx. Yep. There's the land. He searched for blood crip. Apparently. Interesting. And then didn't pay <sighs> for it. Interesting. So he's gonna play shoulder. I'm gonna beast within shoulder. Oh. Battle sphinx. Uh, I think I'm a beast within the battle sphere. Hmm. We could deed for for I zero. Could beast within the battle sphere and deed for zero. I like that. Or just yeah. I like that because then Liliana just gets to tick up again. Yeah. Discarding his last card. Right. And if we hit a land, we actually get to play Garrick too. Boom. Well, we have oh, to no. deed. We have to deed. Uh, uh no, you did it incorrectly. Right, I should discard a land. Well, I guess Liliana just won't kick this turn. That's all we're doing. Sure. Because we want to play the Garrick. Yeah. It's been like the entire mission of this freaking deck. <laughs> Deed for zero? <laughs> Boom. It's like, here we go. Alright, it's his X versus RX. Right. And RX is Garrick. RX is Garrick. Yours is Ral's Eric. Enjoy. Okay, he's well, gonna, he kills Lily. He's going to bolt Lily, which is fine, and then we're going to eat Ral's Eric. Om um, nom nom nom. I think we win this battle. <laughs> just, 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 point. oh, and then Ashiok gets to say, hey, I'm here, guys. What, <laughs> what, wait, what? Oh, I'm, I'm fashionably late. Okay. Om um, nom nom nom. Om um, nom for plus one. <laughs> I om um, nom on your face, sir. <laughs> I om nom on your face. <laughs> uh, still can't beat Sphinx, by the way. Uh, no, it can't. You're right, it can't. But it does get to make some death touch guys. Yep. That can beat Sphinx. That'll beat Sphinx. Alright, I'm feeling pretty good now. Let's see what Ashiak has to say about this. Right. So, Ashok, what do you have to say about all this? Hi, guys. Professionally light. Uh, you have to say a lodestone golem is hiding under you now. Not bad. Yeah, not bad, not bad. I think our opponent loses. Possibly. He'd have to have one set of silly draws to come out of this. Right, well, if he plays the Sphinx right now, I'm going to Damnation. Boom. Yep. Clear the board. And then I don't know what goes down from there. Lightning Greaves. Ooh. That's kind of scary. Because it's going to go Shouldered Lightning Greaves. Yes, it is. In fact, and then I'm gonna going to bolt. I can't block. Swamp Block, man. So I can't block. What? What? <laughs> what? Maybe we'll get a salty message. All right, sick that. Sure. Guess we damnation. Yeah, I, I can't let Shouldered stay alive. He's top decking, so I can't let Shouldered stay alive. Cause Shouldered would have brought back uh, Masticore and yeah. stuff like that. I can destroy Ashiok. <laughs> <laughs> They're like destroy another planeswalker? What? Why? Oh, Ashiok, right. <laughs> yeah. Right. Just in case. Alright, we got pretty lucky there. Yep, Opponent made yep. a misclick. Yep. Well, Got I mean, there. what would have hit Garrick? At which point we still would have damnation and been fine. Or he kills Ashiok. Or he kills Ashiok, but Ashiok wasn't threatening lethal on him, so. Mm -hmm. Whereas Garrick was actually straight up threatening lethal at that point. Right. I think we uh, bring in. Hmm. Do we bring Cross? What is that again? Sphinx says pro what? Uh, green and red. Oh. Which is, Dude, you know. It's so annoying. Makes it, our deck pretty bad. Yeah. Nurkatal could come in, though. No, not artifact. Not artifact. Not, also not black. 
Right. I think we just submit. Yep. We just submit and go, whatever. <laughs> Our out is Liliana. And that's, a, that's why we've done this whole match. And this whole draft, so. Right, it's just whatever. <laughs> we can't beat that card, so we'll just play. <laughs> play to your outs. Even if the outs include your opponent taking 18 off of Mana Crypt. Hey, it <laughs> worked, didn't it? <laughs> Best mana crypt ever. And he didn't take 18 off of it. He took 3 off the Freed as well. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Hmm. Uh, I'm actually thinking of keeping this with Thada. Thada? Yeah, could be okay. We're going to try it. We're in the draw. Garrick's not a great draw there, but you know. Bayou would be sweet. Bayou would be pretty sweet. That's scary. I'm kind of scared of that, but it's not the end of the world. That's kind of... S I forgot we had that in our deck. Yeah. We never drew it. Until now. Didn't we draw it once? No, we never, Possibly. Did, we never drew it and got, and got to play it. Yeah, I think so. Alright, so any one land into Thought I think does us pretty solidly. Yeah. Or no. Uh, well, I think I'm discarding Disfigure. Yeah, it doesn't do much. Well, that should not have happened. Right. Well, I guess that's just life. We got a 50% chance from here on out to draw land, so it's all good. We had a 50% chance for three turns in a row. No, we had a slightly less than 50%. No? Crucible Worlds. I don't get that one. I, I he gets fetch lines back, but... Oh, he does. That's actually pretty gross. Okay, never mind. Yeah. But it's still not great. That right. makes me think he has Wasteline or strip mine. Okay. Thought I'd get out there. Go, go, Thada. Start see. the island walk beats. Hopefully he has a mox. No, yeah, we haven't he has seen. a mox, that'd be great. Because then we get to, like, go into Solemn or something like that. Yeah. What if he plays a guy, we Thada, get Mox Jet, and Liliana? I'd like that. How sick would that be? That would be awesome. <laughs> uh, he doesn't have Soul Ring, because we already played against Soul Ring guy. He doesn't have Lotus. Doesn't have Lotus, because we... Okay. Buried alive! Well, it does stuff, but not yet. Sphinx is in yep. there. Battle Sphere's in there. Masticor's in there. Well, if we try to land, Venser's gonna be pretty hot. Yeah, Venser should be pretty good in this one. Nope. All right, Mox. All right. Let's see what. Let's see them Moxes. Let's see what you got. He has a Mox Sapphire. He has the Sapphire. So we'll take the Sapphire. What? His, so his one way to get things back is Necromancy? He might have a reanimated in hand. Uh, he, he, we Okay, let's go through this. We know he has Shouldred in hand. Yeah. We know he has... What else? We don't know anything else. Um... We can probably still, uh... He does not have either of those. Hmm. Do you think he reanimates Sphinx? Or Battle Sphere? I think he reanimates Sphinx. I think so too. Maybe that's Sapphire. So does that mean we keep up Venser or run out Solemn? I'm going to keep up Venser. Because <sighs> if he has reanimate, he's going to go reanimate Lightning Greaves. Yeah. And I want to be able to go response to Lightning Greaves, bounce it. And, like, next turn, if we draw a land, we can actually play and equip a sword from his deck. So he didn't have the reanimate. That's interesting. He just right. ran out buried alive for whatever. I don't know. Garrick. Oh, all right. Just Heck yeah. Stealing stuff. There's a signet in there to grab. Yep. Okay, so he's going to try to kill this, I guess. 
Okay. You're taking a lot of damage. What, flash and like resto angel? I don't think so. Electrolyze. Yeah, sure. Shh. Thought it was. Yeah. Whatever. I guess it's just solid then, huh? Yeah, I guess. I don't think he has a reanimation spell in hand. Yeah, but if he does, like, we can still well, beat him. Well, he has Shouldered in hand. We know he has Shouldered, so he's going to go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. He's going to try to play Shouldered next turn. Well, let's get uh, Swamp then and grab Liliana yes. next turn. That seems like a good idea. Because we'll have to sack. He'll go land Shouldered. We'll go sack Solemn, draw a card. Yeah. Liliana, sack your Shouldered so you don't get any of your big shit back. Yep. He didn't attack last time either. Maybe he won't do it this time. I think he's gonna remember this time. Okay, Swamp Hawk. Sure. So we take six. We go, okay, I will draw an extra card this turn. Thank you. Hopefully it'll land. Okay. Alright. Mana Leak's insane. Yeah, or, no, it's not. He's got infinite lands. <laughs> but... At least it's not a do-nothing. We don't like you around here, Shouldered. Go to <laughs> hell. Stay there. <laughs> Probably where he came from. Alright. I think it's a she. Sure. <laughs> so just pointing that one out there, John. So if we draw green, we actually get to play Garrick. Yeah. <laughs> big Garrick. <laughs> if we draw Taiga, we get to go big Garrick into Nickel Bull Boss. Yep. We just have to be able to beat reanimation... In tomb. Did he float mana and do? Anything? He floated mana and did in tomb. Yeah. Okay, I don't quite understand the point of floating the mana right now. Unclear. <sighs> What's he going to put into his graveyard? I, we saw his whole deck. He doesn't right. have. I don't think he had anything. I'm trying. Uh. Swamp. Yeah. Okay. Grand architect. Sure. I don't really care. Oh, he kills Liliana. Oh. Yeah, alright, whatever. Lily dies. That's life. She got rid of Shouldered, which was the big threat, so. Yeah. Hmm. <laughs> I could play Tamio. Tamio plus. Yeah. Or Tamio minus draw card? Eh. Try to hit a land for Mana Leak? Mana Leak's not doing anything right now. Alright, then I'm gonna plus and catch his white source. Yeah, I think so. Cause maybe for some reason he has Umbero rights in hand, just what didn't play because he wanted to play Shieldred. I don't know. Well if he has Umbero rights, we can't really do much anyways. Oh, yeah, so he doesn't he doesn't have Umbero rights, we know that much. Hmm. Don't this... we have Umbero rights? Or is that last draft? That was last draft. Okay. We had the gifts rights combo. Yeah. Also, he's at five minutes. Right. All right. Ping. Yeah, I don't understand the entombed for swamp. <laughs> Boom. Big old Garrick says hi. Makes a three-three death toucher. It's solid. Now we just want to draw a red source, John. So that way I can literally go. Garrick into Nicol Bolas. Destroy Nicol Bolas. Dest first, well, no, it goes destroy Lightning Greaves, destroy your guy. Or first you can uh, destroy Garrick. Garrick on the stack, destroy Nicol Bolas. You can't okay. The stack, John. But I want to. But I want to. There should be a card that says you can... Have, we don't have Teferi's Emblem. New Teferi Emblem from Commander. Oh, yeah. Red source. Oh. Wait. Dang. Okay. Well. You know nope. what? Then I'm just going to make another 3-3. Three, three. Yeah. He's and pretty I'm gonna... much dead. Plus that. Even reanimation doesn't do much at this point. Right. I mean, what's he reanimate? Battlesphere? Then we just drop some stuff and... Yeah, just Battlesphere, stuff. like, deed. Um, I'm going to play Wallet Blossoms here. Probably should have attacked. Why not? I don't know. I didn't. Gotta kill him, too. Hey, it's a land. Got there. So now we have both Venter and Mana Lake. 
So we, we, we Venter the spell, then we Mana Leak the spell. Then we Mana Leak Venter. Got it. No. No, John. That's <laughs> not how it goes. Uh, Sword of Feast and Famine. Yep. Uh, if I Venter the spell, he replays it, then equips it. Or no, he replays it, I Mana Leak it, and then I get to pernicious deed it. No, you just venture the sword. Oh yeah, once once it's once the attacks. Yeah, yeah, sure, that makes sense. That makes so much more sense. <laughs> or I could beast within the sword too. Or do that. Oh, wait, yeah. I don't have the green mana. Oh yeah, we just venture the sword. Imaging sword? That's actually kind of filthy. Can't image sword. Oh, I thought that. Oh, what am I thinking? Image... I thought that was. We have metamorph, man. Yeah. That's what I was thinking. Copying Death Touch guy. It's pretty weak. I kind of wanted to swing with this with sword equip. Whoops, that doesn't work. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. What was he, he, was, he wanted to equip this. He wanted to equip this to equip this to re-equip this. Right. And that's why it doesn't work. I might just venture and bounce the beast. Uh, I think we should save Venture. All right. He has zero cards. That's an insane draw. Let's just kill him. Um. So here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna swing with both of our beast tokens. I'm gonna draw two cards and try to hit a red source, because I'm greedy <laughs> like that. You want that nickel? I want that nickel bolas, man. I'm not going to play him yet. I want that nickel bolas. Draw one card. No, draw one card. Yeah, it Seems does. poor. Whatever. I, I I feel like it'll happen. I don't feel it will. Just because. Fuck it. It's happening. Uh, I don't think right, it is. Fine. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, okay. Right, yeah, whatever. Uh, okay. Uh, I guess I just play Kiora then. Sure. Because we still get Venser, so... Yep. So do I get to minus one Kiora? I guess. Yay, minus one cure. Draw land. Draw me a land. Yes! Red swords! <laughs> it will happen next turn, John! I think he's gonna scoop. Don't Hopefully he's... Don't scoop my opponent. I want to do awesome shit! <laughs> Uh-oh. Tezzeret. Okay. I'm going to Venser Tezzeret. He's just gonna replay it. I don't care. This I'm, makes... I'm... This okay, makes no you're right, sense. You're right. <laughs> I won't venture Tezzeret, because he's going to make an artifact into a guy so that way he can do all his swapping shenanigans. Yeah. Or he might just plus one looking for something that gets him out of this. No, I think he's going to make an artifact a guy. Yeah, so he's making an artifact a guy. Then he's going to equip the sword to it. What did he say this time? Oh, nothing. Okay. So he's going to equip sword to it. <laughs> yeah, then we He's get going to, to equip lightning greaves to it. Then we get to bounce sword. Right. We get to bounce sword and just chump. Or kill it with the three three. No, we chump because this kills him next turn. How does it kill? These are eight eight death touch tramplers next turn. Isn't it go off at minus ten? No, minus eight. Oh, minus eight. Okay. Yeah. Well. GG's. Right. But then you don't get to play Bolas. No, I do get to still play Bolas. He's gonna scoop. Shh. <laughs> Shh. Don't, don't scoop. Don't say that. If he sees the writing on the wall, he'll scoop. Shh. Don't say that. Fencer, go! <laughs> <laughs> Bounce his sword. <laughs> Also could have just abrupt decayed the sword. Also oh. could have just abrupt decayed the sword if we adapt our mana right. Go, oh, my well. wall of blossoms. Do wall of blossoming shit. <laughs> He's gonna replay Bolas? the sword. Don't run out of time and don't don't do this wrong. Come on, man. <laughs> Come on. Sure. Yep. So, sword equip. Cool. <laughs> he can't because it is strong. 
Is he gonna equip Greaves? Come on. He's debating it. He's equipping Greaves. Okay, here we go. <laughs> For the first and last time in this draft. <laughs> It's Bolas time. It's Bolas time, man. It's Bolas time. <laughs> <laughs> Boom. <laughs> Boom. <laughs> Message him. Bolas time. How did you get to the fight? <laughs> Oh, good to know that I can see all my mistakes. Well, <laughs> entombing for swamp was pretty good, but choose target opponent. <laughs> <laughs> Boom. Boom. <laughs> uh, attack Tesseret. Wait, no. Attack him. Oh, he has to put the triggers on the stack himself. <laughs> For value. For value. Garrick's ultimate is just a case of the rubbins, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> it's like, you have to process the triggers yourself. GG's. GG's. <laughs> he might time out. <laughs> he might. <laughs> oh! <laughs> yes! <laughs> That was so awesome. so awesome. That was great. I love Holiday Cube. I love the Holiday Cube. Alright. Thank you for watching, everyone. Hope you enjoyed this uh, this cube draft as much as we did, because it was a blast. Yeah. So, um, yeah. Uh, think, as I said, thanks for watching. Feel free to like, comment, subscribe, share the channel. Um... I do, if, if any of you have noticed, I definitely read the comments. I respond to practically every single comment I see. So, please feel free to comment. Any questions, any thoughts, anything. Even if you just want to diss on us, we'll, we'll fight it out in the comments. We've done it before. <laughs> uh, so, yeah. Thanks for watching, and we'll, talk, we'll see you all in the next draft.